welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. It means a lot to me. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit that little subscribe button and the bell and you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. We'd love to have you be part of our community over here. So today we are going to talk about staying motivated during weight loss. This is a question that I get all the time. How do you stay motivated? How do you want to eat right and exercise and do all the things that contribute to weight loss? So I am here today to share some fun tips and tricks with you and something that's a little near and dear to my heart that I've created for my own personal weight loss journey. So if you want to hear these tips and tricks and see this special thing in my life, stay tuned. is don't sweat the small stuff. Don't sweat the things that really don't matter. There are a few things that I wanna to touch on when it comes to not sweating the small stuff. The first one is about weight. Don't look at your daily weight fluctuations. Us as human beings, our bodies can fluctuate so much within a given day, up to 10 pounds between the time we get up and the time we go to bed, depending on what we ate, how much salt, how much water we drank, what beverages we had, it can really fluctuate. So instead of focusing on the daily weight, look at your weekly overall progress. Now, if you're someone that has to step on the scale every single day, then go ahead and do that, but write it down. And at the end of the week, look at the pattern. Are you losing pretty regularly throughout the week? Are you noticing that midweek you're up and then the end of the week you're down? Look at that overall weekly pattern instead of the day-to-day -day weight fluctuations. Pay attention to your average weight loss. And you can do this in the WW app because in the app, it tells you what you've lost each week. And then it also gives you a chart of what your weight loss has looked like over the course of starting on WW. So you can take a look at your average weight loss over time. And just keep in mind that when we're on our cycle, our favorite time of the month is women, we can fluctuate up to 10 pounds. And we don't know when this is going to happen. Is it going to happen when we ovulate, before our cycle, during or after our cycle? There are so many variations depending on your body, but you can see a huge weight fluctuation during that time. So don't let it get to you and don't sweat the small stuff. It's going to go away. Just stay on track, do your exercise, keep doing what you're doing, and eventually that weight will even itself out and you should see a loss on the scale or at least an average loss over the course of a week or a month. The next tip to stay motivated is have a goal outfit or a goal pair of jeans that you are bound and freaking determined to get in during your weight loss journey. And on that same note, you guys keep your old clothes, keep your pants or your shirt or whatever you have on hand from your heaviest weight. So as you lose weight, you can put that on and feel really proud that the weight is coming off and you can feel extra accomplished that those pants or that shirt that used to fit you is big and flowy now. But it's really important to have something to shoot for. And this is in any aspect of our life, whether it's family, personal, career, weight loss. It's nice to have an end goal and something to look forward to. So have a goal something, whether it be pants or an outfit, and you can try it on throughout your weight loss journey, but hang it up in your closet in a place that you can see it. And I recommend trying it on throughout your journey and see how much closer you're getting to that goal outfit. And a tip with that goal outfit is make that something that you would have never worn before you started your weight loss journey or something that you wouldn't be comfortable in that you know once you hit your goal or a certain number on the scale, you're going to feel a lot more comfortable. So goal outfits are super fun. Along the lines of goal outfits for motivation, take your measurements. There are so many times, especially if you are an avid workout person, that you will not see the scale move, but your measurements will show incredible progress. You will see your body changing, your arms, your legs, your stomach, your back, your thighs, all of those things are going to shrink substantially. And sometimes we just don't see that number change on the scale. There are so many reasons that working out can affect the scale. Your body retains water when your muscles are sore. I find for me that I can't work out even the day before I weigh in. If I do, I'm always up on the scale the following morning. Whether I worked out the morning, the afternoon, or the night before, it seems to affect the scale. So for me, I just choose not to work out the day before I weigh in. I get my workouts in the other days of the week. And you 
don't have to share your measurements with anyone. You don't have to tell anyone, show anyone, or even talk about it. It can just be something that you have personal for you that keeps you motivated. When that scale isn't budging, but those measurements are, it definitely puts a little pep in your step and keeps you a lot more motivated to keep doing what you're supposed to be doing with working out and your food. Something else that is super important when it comes to staying motivated is remember that this is a journey, not a race. And I think I've said this so many times, I get so incredibly frustrated when I see people post on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube about so-and-so hasn't lost enough weight, in my opinion, for the time they've been on Weight Watchers. So-and-so should have lost this. And you know what? To be honest with you, it's none of anybody else's business about your personal journey, and it's not a race. We wanna live our lives. I know for me, I would rather live my life and indulge here and there, and maybe not lose three, four pounds a week, but I'm still living my life, and it's sustainable for me. And that, for me, is huge. I need to do something that is sustainable, something that I will stick with, and something that after I take the weight off, I can continue to do to keep the weight off and not gain it all back when I go to only eating my minimum points every Every day or lowering my points or avoiding this food or that food for me and for a lot of us it has to be sustainable so just remember you guys little bits add up to big bits all those point this point that add up to a pound we tell ourselves it's gonna take so long to lose this weight but you guys the time's gonna pass anyways the days are gonna go by the weeks the months the years so in those weeks, months, years, do something that's good for your body. Continue on your weight loss journey. The time will pass anyway, so you might as well make some steps towards your end goal while that time continues to pass. And just the bottom line for this is remember, nobody's in a race. We're all gonna work the program that works the best for us. We should see results on the scale, and it's nobody else's business how much or how little you're losing as long as you're happy with your overall progress. The next tip to stay motivated is remember all of the good feelings. How good it feels to complete a workout, to run that mile, to do that jazzercise, to go to the gym. How good you feel when that is done and over with. Your body feels good. It might be sore, but it feels good. You're mentally feeling great. You're proud of what you've accomplished. So I wanted to share with you some benefits of working out. Now, this isn't busting it out in the gym for an hour. This isn't running a marathon. This is simply moving your body every single day for at least 30 minutes. It could be a leisurely stroll around your neighborhood. You're still going to get the same benefits that come from working out. You're going to feel mentally and physically better, guaranteed, after you do a workout. Like I said, your body may be a little bit sore, but that will pass, and then you will feel stronger and healthier. You'll see some muscle coming in and mentally you're going to have clarity after you have a workout. Those endorphins get moving around and it clears your mental state and you just feel overall mentally and physically better. Inches are going to melt away. Like I said, you may not see those pounds drop on the scale, but inches are definitely going to melt away. I posted a picture and I'm going to insert it right here from day one when I very first started in Jazzercise to about two months ago. And I hadn't lost a ton of weight, maybe less than 20 pounds, but look at the difference in just my body shape. My body is reshaping from movement and exercise. You're going to see muscles come in and define that you never even knew that you had. You're going to see inches disappear and you're going to be stronger. You're going to be able to move around easier, do your daily tasks easier and you'll see as you work out consistently your workouts get a little bit easier so you just ump the intensity to see that same strain on your body that you had when you first started working out there are so many benefits to getting in some movement every day and i say 30 minutes a day whether that's working in your yard strolling around your neighborhood going to the gym or for me taking a jazzercise class the benefits are endless my next tip to stay motivated is to write down your why or your whys. Maybe you have more than one and these whys can change across your weight loss journey. You may start out with one why and transition to a second, a third, a fourth, a tenth, whatever it may be. Your whys will change and can change throughout your weight loss journey. Write down what makes you want to lose weight. Who are you trying to lose weight for besides yourself? Yourself should always be the forefront person that you're trying to lose the weight for. Is it for your health? Is it to fit into clothes? Is it vanity? If it's vanity, that's totally okay. Is it so you can play with your kids, your dog, your friends, so you can move around easier, so you can fit into that favorite pair of expensive jeans that you've been eyeing at the local boutique? Whatever your why or whys are, write those down and have them in front of you. For me, I have them on my vision board that literally sits above 
above my desk. So I see it every time I'm in my office, which is every single day. I also write my whys in my Erin Condren planner at the beginning of every month. And like I said, my whys change. I change them up from month to month. Sometimes they're the same. Sometimes I add one or take one away. Your whys are going to evolve as your weight loss journey evolves. But have a why, a goal, a motivation in mind. My next tip is find somebody that inspires you. Whether that's on Instagram, here on YouTube, Facebook, maybe someone you know personally, a friend or a family member, have somebody that you look up to that inspires you. But most importantly, and this is the key takeaway from inspiration from others, don't compare yourself. No comparison, just inspiration. Don't compare yourself to their weight loss, to how their body looks, to how much they've lost, how much you've lost. Use them as a source of inspiration and motivation. There may be several things about this person that motivate you. It may be the recipes they prepare, the amount of weight that they've lost, how they look, how they share their journey, their goals of having children or growing their family. Those types of things can be huge motivating factors to keep you moving on your healthy lifestyle journey. But just make sure you're not comparing to those people, that person. Instead, just use them as a source of inspiration. Another thing you can do that kind it goes hand in hand with having a why is write down your specific goals. As you guys know, I did a vision board at the beginning of the year. That has been a huge source of inspiration and motivation for me. Like I said, it sits above my desk. Those are my goals for the year. I wrote them down. I put them on a huge poster board above my desk. I shared them on social media. I shared them with my friends, my family, my husband. So it makes me feel a little a lot more committed to achieving those goals by writing it down and sharing it with others. And you don't have to share it if you're not comfortable, but sharing those goals with somebody can really be huge motivation to stick with your weight loss journey. Some of those goals may be a weight loss goal for the year. How about working out on a regular basis? How about no secret eating? Your body still counts every calorie you eat. Your body still knows everything that you eat. So how about goals of tracking your food every day? working out, no secret eating, all of those are fantastic goals. Write them down, have them in a visible space for you so that it's a constant reminder while you're on your healthy lifestyle journey. So now I wanna share with you something that I've never shared here on my channel. It's something that I created for myself as an extra motivational tool, something to really keep me motivated on my weight loss journey. I can see it in writing as I progress along my journey, and that is to make a weight loss journal. So I made this very simple, cute little weight loss journal. I added some fun stickers to the top of it. And in this journal, I have basically my weight loss goals. Very, very simple things that I can at a glance see. Make sure that you make it fun and pretty and creative. So you can see that I have a pounds loss section. I really need to update this. Wow. I only have up to 10 pounds. I've lost 33. So I'm going to get this uploaded, but you can see that I'm marking off my pounds that are lost. I have it decorated cute in my style. Things that when I look at this just keep me extra, extra motivated. And I continued on to the next page. However many pages you need for however many pounds that you wanna lose, that's a great way to stay motivated. Also in between those specific goals, I just have some fun motivational quotes and some just decor that I've added. Just something that when I look at it, puts a smile on my face and makes me happy. Now the next one, I'm not going to share numbers, I'm just going to share heading, and that is decade. So this is getting yourself into a new weight decade. So whenever I hit a decade, which is 10 pounds lost, I've entered a new weight decade. So whether that's 190 to 180 to 170, I go ahead and take a big X and mark out the decade that I'm out of, and it puts a shining light on the decade that I've entered into. And remember, you don't have to share this with anybody. I'm not comfortable sharing my weight or the decade that I'm in. You guys know this. I'm happy to share how many pounds I've lost, but at this point, I'm choosing for me not to share my actual weight. You guys are great. You understand completely. Some things are just personal and we have the right to choose what we share and don't share, whether it's with social media, our friends, our family. And for me, I'll let you guys know my weight when I'm ready, but I, just be aware that I do mark it off as I enter every new decade. It's actually extremely exciting. So then I have some more motivational pages with some quotes on it and a little note down here to remember these things. They say things like, be the girl who decided to go for it, which is huge. Don't wish for it, work for it. That 
hello, is that not a weight loss journey? And you never know what you can achieve until you try. So those little quotes just keep me motivated. When I see it, it puts a smile on my face. It makes me excited. And then I actually wrote down my why. And this is what I was talking about, is write down your why or the reasons you're on this healthy lifestyle journey. So I'm gonna share some of my whys with you. These are really personal, you guys. And I've shared little tidbits of why I am on Weight Watchers or why I'm on this weight loss journey, but these just deep dive a little more into those personal reasons. So it says to be truly happy, which I know losing weight isn't going to make me truly happy, but feeling better, feeling good in my skin is next, will make me happy. Be more confident, comfortable in public. There are times that I'm not really comfortable going out in public. I feel like I'm fat and bloated and ugly and I don't wanna go out into public. That's the reality. Proud of my reflection in the mirror. This is another one, you guys. There are so many times that I completely avoid the mirror because I don't wanna see. I don't wanna see what's in the mirror. So I wanna be able to stop at that mirror, strut myself, and be proud of what I see in the reflection. To be healthy, hello, be healthy, and to move around easier. That's another huge, huge why for me. Because you know, the more weight you carry, the harder it is to move around. It harder it is to do daily tasks, to do exercise, so for me, moving around easier is a huge motivational factor and a huge part of my list of whys. And the last little page in my journal, and I'm still working on it, it's a work in progress, are my goals. So these are my goals for my entire weight loss journey and beyond. And I'm gonna read those to you as well. I have five goals. Number one, jazzercise three times a week. I'm pretty darn good at this. Took a couple weeks off, but I'm back in the swing of things. Track everything. This is hit and miss, but I'm definitely getting better now that I'm tracking calories and points. I'm at least tracking one of those two metrics every single day. No secret eating. This is something that I did, hence the reason I brought this up. I'm a secret eater. I run in the pantry real quick when my husband's not watching and grab a snack. He doesn't care what I'm eating. Only thing that cares what I'm eating is me and my body. So no secret eating, I've done so well with this. I'm really proud of myself actually for this goal. Stay within my macros. You guys know that I'm counting calories and macros. So my goal is to stay within that range. That's my healthy eating range for calories and macros. And lastly, this is a big one. This is a big one. And I don't even know if this is actually doable, but that is to lose every single week and not have a game. You know what? It's probably not doable. I have had a couple of gains since the beginning of the year. Like I said, our body does its own thing. It has a mind of its own. We can't always control whether we're going to gain or lose. But overall, I would like to have most weeks be a loss. So those are my goals. That's kind of my weight loss motivational journal. I hope that you enjoyed me sharing that with you. It's a simple journal from like the Dollar Tree, and it's just a great tool to have visually to see where you are. And my final tip is honestly, the most important tip, and that is don't quit. If you quit, you're never going to reach your goal. No matter what, just don't quit. If you have a setback here and there, whether it be short or long, that's okay, that's life. That's a weight loss journey, that's a healthy lifestyle journey. That is normal, but don't quit. Keep going, keep plugging along, and I promise you eventually, you'll reach whatever goal or goals that you have set out for yourself, I promise. So thank you so much for joining me on today's video. I hope I shared some great tips to help keep you motivated. I do want, if you guys create your own little weight loss journal, I wanna see it. Tag me on Instagram. If you're on my Facebook group, I'll put that right here on the screen for you. Make sure you post a picture. You don't have to share the details, but just post a picture of that journal. I'd love to see if you recreated this for yourself and if that helps you on your weight loss journey. I'll put my Instagram handle here on the screen as well so you can follow me over there. I do post pretty regularly over there and of course I'm in my Facebook group daily. So make sure that you let me know about that journal and also if you have any other tips that you'd like to share please leave those down in the comments. I certainly can't think of everything and I'd love to hear some of your tips to stay motivated. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy these little tips and tricks videos and also make sure that you're subscribed and your bell is turned on so you don't miss a single video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I love you guys so much. Let's stay motivated, hit our goals, and don't quit. See you next time. Bye.